Miss STEM is a project initiative funded by Erasmus Plus and hosted by Southwest College to involve young females with decision makers in the fields of science, technology, engineering and maths in the UK. This included 30 young females from three different age groups. 10 STEM graduates, 10 young females studying a STEM subject at further education and 10 Key Stage 3 girls who have not yet chosen their career path. The girls worked together over a six month period to develop presentations on why STEM subjects and careers are unattractive to females. These were presented to the Mid-Ulster Council, Northern Ireland Assembly and the UK Houses of Parliament. Together we identified a gender imbalance in STEM careers. Males often are given more encouragement to pursue careers within the STEM field, which in turn leads to wider opportunities and higher pay scales. To help overcome this issue, we believe that from an early age, boys and girls should be equally encouraged and not segregated into pink or blue. This should also be applied for careers guidance from parents and schools. Jobs should not be associated with male or female roles. WISE Campaign 2014 states that women make up nearly half of the UK workforce, but only a fifth of those working in STEM. Furthermore, in 2014, the WISE campaign identified the lack of females in the following GCSEs. In total, only 7% of the manufacturing GCSE was female, 5% was in construction, and only 4% in engineering. Meet Sally. This is her story on how she became a female engineer. As a young girl, Sally has always had an interest in machinery while other girls like dolls and makeup. Sally always got unwanted attention and discouragement for being different to other girls. This could have had an impact on Sally's career path, but it didn't. Sally studied in a male-dominated engineering class at uni. went on to graduate and got a job she loved. Sally is one of the few females who followed a STEM career path. How can we change the general perception of females in STEM careers? We think the government should provide STEM clubs and seminars exclusively for females, allowing women to meet together and learn more about STEM career options. To further encourage females into STEM careers, more companies could provide childcare benefits and launch initiatives to remove the perception of male-dominated jobs. Lastly, companies need to ensure equal pay in the workplace. We believe making these small changes will help encourage more females into STEM careers and reduce the gender gap.